Season 8 of Fortnite Battle Royale is only a few weeks away as it will be officially launching at the end of February and the leaks and rumors regarding Season 8's theme, storyline, and map changes are really starting to heat up. The dragon eggs are getting closer and closer to hatching by the day and now that the Fire King has officially made an appearance, things are definitely going to be changing over the coming days and weeks. Season 8 is bound to be full of surprises and judging by the rumors going around right now, we are certainly in for a treat with our newest season of Battle Royale. What's up guys and welcome back to the Simply Viral channel, thanks for stopping by. If you guys are new around here, feel free to subscribe with your channel notifications turned on by clicking that little bell icon, that way you'll always know when a new video goes up on the channel. If you guys are excited for Season 8 of Fortnite and the new storyline that's about to unfold, let us know by dropping a like on this video and giving it a big thumbs up. And last but not least, make sure to let us know in the comments below what you're most excited about for Season 8. Now without further ado, let's jump back into the world of Fortnite Battle Royale and take a look at 8 of the best Season 8 rumors. Number 1. The Fire King the Fire King, aka The Prisoner, aka The Snowfall Skin, is easily the biggest piece of information we have right now regarding Season 8 and where Fortnite is headed in the future days, weeks, and months. Since The Prisoner has broken free from the dungeon in the Ice Castle, the map has began to quickly melt away and the snow is disappearing each and every day. Obviously, it'll be a few days until we know where exactly the melting is going to stop, and it'll be pretty interesting to see if the iceberg biome remains the same as it was prior to the ice storm event, or if that area will also be affected by the Fire King's power. If you guys didn't know, the new Snowfall skin actually has various stages to it, where as you progress through them, the Snowfall skin essentially turns into a fire creature, looking oddly similar to Thanos, actually. Regardless though, since the Snowfall skin is now revealed, we know that it's going to play a big part in leading us towards Season 8's launch, as has the previous challenge-based skins. Thus, the Fire King's journey over the next few weeks is going to be very, very important. His purpose on the island, besides getting revenge against the Ice King, is relatively unknown, but that leads us into number 2. Number 2. The Dragon Eggs Located just beside the dungeon inside of the Ice Castle, lies 5 dragon eggs that have really yet to do much since being found a handful of weeks ago. However, now that the Fire King is out and on the loose, many people are theorizing that the dragon eggs are finally going to come into play. Since the eggs currently can't hatch as they're too cold and still frozen from the Ice King's reign, the Fire King is likely going to end up bringing his powers back to the Ice Castle after the map is officially returned to normal to ultimately heat up the dragon eggs and hatch them, most likely gaining control of the beasts. And I'm just saying, the Fire King paired alongside some dragons does not bode well for the Ice King or the Iceberg biome of the Fortnite Island. Meaning, come Season 8, things are probably going to be looking very different in our southwest portion of the map. Number 3. Planes are being removed. Planes are undoubtedly the most controversial addition to Season 7 of Fortnite Battle Royale. The spam of the plane's turrets third partying you is a nuisance, the boost to the plane destroying everything in sight is also a nuisance, altogether the planes have just been primarily viewed as a big problem here in Battle Royale. And with that, Season 8 will most likely see the vaulting of our one and only air vehicle. The planes really can't be removed until Season 7 ends, as there are multiple weekly challenges pertaining to the usage of the planes, so that would ultimately mess things up there, but with the fresh start of Season 8, planes will no longer have any ties to the game, and if Epic chooses to, they can remove them once and for all. Number 4. The Old School LTM We saw the classic LTM a little while ago, which featured some older Fortnite weapons and items that have since been vaulted. But unless you played Fortnite back in Seasons 1 and 2, you probably have never experienced the OG Fortnite map, which is why many players are calling for an old school LTM, which would feature not only the original weapons and items of Fortnite, but also the original map. Places like the Factories and Dusty Depot could be returned to their former glory with this LTM, and it would definitely be something that would spark some nostalgia for a lot of players. Number 5. The Flood the Flood rumors and theory in general was the original favorite theory in the early weeks of Season 7, as we had no indication of what was going to happen to the ice and snow across the map besides the fact that we knew it was going to disappear at some point. Players everywhere were beginning to think that because Epic Games has been mirroring the real world seasons in game, obviously with Season 6 being very Halloween themed with Fort Nightmares and Season 7 encompassing winter as it also went on in the real world, 
It seemed like following reality was becoming a trend, meaning that in Season 8, when spring went into effect in real life, it would also follow suit in game, causing the snow and ice to melt away, leaving behind a massive influx of water to essentially flood the Fortnite island. While this rumor is still possible, it seems like natural flooding by way of the spring season melting the snow away is a little bit less likely than, say, some miraculous event happening on the island, for instance, a fire king coming around. Regardless, this potential flood could completely change the Fortnite map by creating new water-based points of interest. Places like Tilted Towers, Snobby Shores, and Pleasant Park even could find themselves under a few feet of water, meaning gameplay would be very, very different in those areas. If this flood were strong enough too, we could even see Dusty Divot finally filled in with water, creating a new lake point of interest right in the very center of the map. Scenarios like this could open the door for the ability to swim underwater to finally make its way into the game, completely changing the flow of gameplay within a match. This is definitely an out there theory and rumor, but it exists nonetheless. And with Epic Games, we've really come to learn that anything is truly possible. Number 6. New Vehicles as I mentioned earlier, many people are assuming that planes will be removed with the Season 8 launch update, but that might not be the only vehicle-related update that Fortnite sees with Season 8. Chances are we could be getting another ground-based vehicle, perhaps a slower but more armored up and powerful version of the ATK that's more so built around defense rather than just moving around the map quickly. Or on the other side of things, if the flood event were to actually happen, we could even see something like boats or jet skis or some other water-based vehicle make its way into the game. Obviously, the map as it stands right now does not really have a need for water vehicles as water is not a huge nuisance on the map. However, if a flood event were to happen and suddenly there was an influx of lakes and other water-based points of interest, boats, jet skis, and maybe even inner tubes could certainly be efficient for traveling across the map if the scenario arises. Number 7. The Battle Pass is going to be bigger and better than ever. The Battle Pass has remained relatively the same over the past few seasons, with the exception of new additions like wraps and pets. Overall though, we've seen the same 100 tier layout for quite some time now, and many people are theorizing that the Season 8 Battle Pass is going to shake things up a little bit and add even more tiers to the Battle Pass and in turn, unlock even more content. Of course, more tiers, maybe like 125 or even 150, would mean more skins, gliders, pickaxes, and other items to unlock. And ultimately, the Battle Pass would be a little bit more of a grind to officially max out, that is, if you don't buy tiers. Plus, with Season 7, we actually received more customizable skins than ever before, with Sergeant Winter, Lynx, Zenith, and the Ice King all being available within the Battle Pass. It definitely seems like in the past, Fortnite has always been known to one-up themselves with their content, meaning that Season 8 is probably going to include an insane amount of upgradable and customizable skins within its battle pass on top of extra content like gliders, pickaxes, back blings, so on and so forth. Number 8. Save the World is Launching for Free Back in 2018, Epic Games announced that they actually had plans to fully release the Save the World edition of Fortnite for free but that free-to-play launch would not be coming in 2018. Instead, Save the World would debut its free version sometime in early 2019. Seeing as these seasonal updates are typically the biggest and hold the most surprises, launching Save the World for free with the Season 8 launch update would actually make a lot of sense. Not to mention, Season 8 is going to most likely run through the majority of early 2019, so if Save the World doesn't launch for free with the Season 8 update, I would definitely expect to see it happen sometime during the season, as Season 9 won't likely be launching until May at the earliest, which is really on the back end of early 2019. If and when Save the World does become free to play, that also means that for the first time ever, players will actually have direct access to earn free V-Bucks as Save the World offers various challenges and quests that reward you with the currency upon completion meaning players will finally have a real way to earn free V-Bucks in-game, which, safe to say, is something that will definitely make everyone happy to hear. And with that being said, that effectively wraps up today's video. Make sure to let us know in the comments below what you're most excited about for Season 8 of Fortnite Battle Royale. Of course, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like on it and give it a big old thumbs up as it would be much appreciated. And if you are brand new here to the Simply Viral channel, feel free to go ahead and subscribe with your channel notifications turned on. That way you'll never miss another upload. Once again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy, have an awesome rest of your day, and we'll see you guys on the Battle Bus. Peace out.